Welcome back everybody. Today we have another armor test for you. This time it is a shield. This one here is made by RTS Tactical and it has a very unique rating. So they call it Special Threat Level 3 Alpha, um, which really isn't a real rating. Uh, according to the NIJ, you guys should be seeing that coming through here on your screen as to what actual NIJ ratings are. And this one is rated to stop M855, 556, as well as 7.62 by 39. Uh, we do have some of that out here today in terms of the 855, and we'll see what it'll do. Um, it comes in several different sizes. This is the medium size, um, and you guys should be able to see the size and weight of each coming in here on your screen. But I can tell you, medium size, uh, for myself, it's really not unwieldy, uh, despite the fact that it is made out of steel. So with that steel armor, that starts to raise concerns, right? What kind of concerns? So first is going to be spall and fragmentation. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that. It does have a coating on there that should minimize some of that. Uh, but unlike body armor where it's up against your chest, and the spall could go straight into your neck and brain, which is definitely not a good thing. If you're using a shield, provided that a lot of other folks aren't around, there really shouldn't be anything besides bad guys in front of it. So I think the uh, spall issue there is minimized with a shield versus plates. Um, and then down here, or rather back here on the back, we have a couple things going on. We have this piece here, which is a heavy padded version. So that way, uh, should you get hit with it while you're holding it, it should help to absorb some of the shock. We have this piece here, which is a bungee corded uh, strap. You don't have to use it. I would recommend it personally. It's much more easy to control and maneuver with it if you're using that strap. And of course you can cinch it down as tight as you want. This piece here is steel and that is how you grip it. So essentially when we're going to use it, if I could get my watch out of the way, this is how we are going to grip it. And you guys can see again versus plates or something like that, the advantage of a shield, we've done other shield reviews here on the channel if you guys are interested. Um, the advantage of a shield is that you can move it while you move. Additionally, you can use it as moving cover, particularly if you have a pistol, for example. You put your pistol right here, <laughs> We'll just go ahead and do it because the camera is not a person. So you can maneuver and, you know, don't want to have your elbow out. You can get nice and small and maneuver through and try to keep as much of your body as possible behind the shield while you maneuver. So unlike plates, you know, that are fixed in front of you and behind you, you can move this depending on where you're going, which is very useful, particularly when moving inside of confined spaces. And you guys can see here, I'm able to very easily control this. I'm a relatively strong guy and this is the medium. So uh, they make a smaller version as well if you guys want something a little bit lighter. Uh, but the key on this one is gonna be price point. So it's definitely a price point item. It's not very expensive compared to other shields that are out there on the market, ballistic shields. Uh, but uh, the weight is definitely gonna be heavier than some of the other offerings out there. So with that, uh, we'll fill up a box full of dirt put it up there and start some redneck science to see what it will and won't stop as well as how that spalling progresses throughout our testing. We've got the shield downrange at about 25 yards, a couple cameras on it, and we're gonna start out with some 40 grain 22 from my integrally suppressed uh, Smith & Wesson Victory and uh, see how that spall holds up. Let's check it out. Interesting results already. So both of those shots, one hit here and one hit there. Uh, so pretty close together, but we saw some small and frag go out here and a little bit of a bulge right here. You guys probably can't see that, but so some of it went up as well. Uh, regardless though, it did generally speaking fairly well and we're gonna keep shooting it. Stepping it up caliber wise, we have our nine millimeter here and we'll see how she likes it. Let's see. As you guys just saw, we had two hits on it there and uh, stopped it just fine as you would imagine. I don't know if it shows with the sun, but you can see this coating is just starting to separate a little bit the more rounds we put on it. But uh, let's keep going. I think this will be the last pistol round we'll shoot at it, but just some 45 ACP out of the Mark 23. Let's see.
interesting that with that 45 going so slow, it didn't seem to actually cause any separation like we saw with the other 22 and nine millimeter rounds of the coating. It basically, this is the only area that got compromised at all. All around it is just fine, appears to be stuck on there. So let's step it up to rifles. When I said rifles, of course, I meant brace pistol. We have some 115 grain 300 blackout here in my uh, 10 and a half inch or 10.3 inch Daniel Defense. See how she likes it. Let's check it out. As y'all already saw, we went for a headshot there, got it. Interestingly, it caught a piece of fragmentation there. I'm not sure if the camera will really pick that up all that well, but you guys can see this uh, coating there did catch it, but we had a little bit of separation here on the sides. So we definitely had some spall shooting out the sides. The same is true on this side. It's starting to separate from that rifle round, increased speed. It just splatters a lot faster than pistol rounds. Next up, we have the M249, so longer barrel there. It's a standard length barrel. And uh, we have some Remington 45 grain 223 in there. So light for caliber, it's gonna be screaming hot at it, which is what steel doesn't like. So let's see. Let's check it out. I was genuinely unsure if it was going to stop that bullet. That barrel length combined with a lightweight bullet is a very fast combination and speed kills armor as well as bullet construction. Um, and you guys can see our entrance hole there and it shot right on out the back. Let's try some uh, 855 and see if it'll actually stop that as it's claimed. My guess is it will, it's gonna be going significantly slower. We've got some SS109, which is European 855, made to the same specs, coming out of my Radian 14.5 here, and we'll see how it does against this. Let's check it out. We had our impact as you guys saw from the slow motion and it did not go through at all. Looking at it right here, you can tell that there is some separation right there where it's starting to come out in terms of spalling. Same is true up here, but stop that 855 just fine. Just because I wanna know, we're gonna test that 45 grain 223 Remington round out of a 16 inch barrel. So we have our Arsenal Sam 5 here. Again, 16 inch barrel, the same round that penetrated from the uh, saw barrel, but again, different length, different speed. We'll see what it do. See what it does, rather. Let's check it out. Longtime viewers of the channel know that when the scenery changes in an armor test, it is not good. So the scenery has changed, and the reason for that is we had our impact right here obviously lots of spall moving there but the bullet did go through now it definitely didn't go through with the same gusto for sure you can see that the bullet hole is a different shape than it is down here which i can't really show you but just take my word on it it's a clean hole uh, for the saw barrel but with the 16 inch barrel it's kind of jagged so it was definitely trying to stop it it just simply was not able to because again speed speed kills armor is what it is so uh, what do we think about the plate overall? Number one, it is a tremendous value. Uh, right now, in terms of price point, it's coming in at $399. I should mention as well, full disclosure, this was sent out to me for the test, um, but at you guys' request. I got a ton of requests for this after my last shield review because it's really the only other budget option that I'm aware of right now for American consumers. So uh, pros and cons for sure. Pros, of course, is that it's gonna be relatively inexpensive uh, for a shield that can stop every pistol round out there, as well as most of your rifle rounds out there. Of course, it stopped the 855. I'm sure it would stop M193 as well. Uh, maybe with the exception of coming out of a 20 inch barrel with that speed again, uh, that it would gain from that round. But AK rounds, 300 blackout, all that stuff has stopped just fine. If you have somebody shooting at you with a uh, short barreled pistol, 556, you're probably gonna be okay as well um, with the vast majority of the rounds out there on the market. 
Um, it also gives you a mobility advantage over wearing body armor. There's that. You can get behind it and get nice and small. Even as fat as I am, I can get behind it and use it as mobile cover, which is an advantage that you sort of get with plates, but definitely not to this extent. Again, there's different sizes that have different weights as well. Um, but yeah. That's kind of it. I suppose the results speak for themselves. Uh, spall protection, it definitely gave you some, uh, but not something I would count on for multiple hits, especially with rifles. Um, but, you know, like I mentioned earlier, I think that's much less of a concern with a shield than it is with armor plates. With armor plates, it's a very serious concern. Uh, with a shield, probably not so much because, again, you want everything that you care about behind it. Um, so maybe it's even a good thing if Spall goes back to the enemy. Who knows? But that is it for the shield. If you like this type of test, guys, and you're not subscribed here on the channel, you definitely should subscribe because this is sort of the bread and butter type of material that we do here on the channel. We do a lot of armor testing and uh, the results always speak for themselves. So like it did here and we always kill the armor one way or another, this thing was gonna die. If you've subscribed and you hit the notification bell and you're not seeing two to four videos a week here on the channel, uh, you can sign up for my email at the website on your screen here. Even if you are seeing the videos, still sign up for the email because uh, my Facebook was recently deleted, as many of you guys know, so YouTube could do the same any day. So I want a way to connect with you guys that doesn't involve a social media giant censoring. I could potentially censor your eyes for my content. So that email goes out at most once a month and it just has all of the videos since the previous email. Again, so you guys see all of my content. And then additionally, should this go on sale or anything like that, we have a daily deals email as well that you can sign up for at the website on your screen. And uh, it has six or seven of the best deals that I find around the internet. And again, there's no social media giant censoring your eyes from my content like there is on many other platforms. Um, so you can sign up for that one. And that goes out every day as the name indicates. And if the item is in the email that day, it's the cheapest that I know of anywhere on the internet at that time. So it saves you guys some money, hopefully, and saves you some time from looking for those items. With that, that's all I have for you. Thank you all for watching. I truly appreciate it. And uh, definitely look forward to seeing everybody in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.